A lot has happened during my brief time here at Nevermore Academy. There was a giant hide monster attacking innocents in the woods. Our carnivorous plants professor used me as a blood sacrifice to resurrect Jericho's founder and outcast hater, Joseph Crackstone. Not to mention, I got to show the entire school my impeccable choreography at the Raven Dance. But what happened next was worse than anything I could dream of. It was downright sinister. look like I'm covered in unicorn vomit. What was that thing? What did it do to us? Nothing more than a juvenile prank by Bianca and the other nightshades, no doubt. Although, it is peculiar. I should be having an allergic reaction to all these colors. Hurry, let's switch back. I can't be seen around school wearing this disgusting outfit. Uh, no offense. What's wrong? You zoned out and stopped talking there for a minute. It was very enjoyable. I... I just had a vision! That's impossible. Werewolves can't have psychic abilities. I think that crystal ball somehow reversed us! We've switched places! Look! Great. So I'm a colorful furry fuzzball now. What exactly did you see in your vision? The same crystal ball that switched us is going to be used on all the other students as well! We have to find out who's behind all this and stop them! As much as it pains me to agree with you on anything, you're right. Thing, keep guard of our room. Enid and I are going to solve this mystery. Oh, poor thing! Not you too! Do you actually think Ajax will be useful to our investigation, or are you just interested in sucking faces some more? Hey, Ajax is well connected around the school. He might know something. Yeah, how to kiss terribly. I'm a werewolf! I like slobbering! You know, this whole thinking you're better than everyone else routine is getting a little old, Wednesday. Whoa, what happened to you guys? Wednesday, you're more colorful than a candy store in Enid. You look like you're one foot in the grave. Th in a cute way! Enough with your pitiful attempts at flirtation. A similar fate may befall you if we don't figure out our culprit. What do you know about magical crystal balls? Not much, but I think there's a book in here on the subject. Crystal ball creation for the modern aficionado? Modern being relative to when the book was first written nearly a century ago. No way! According to this, ancient fortune tellers could create crystal balls with all sorts of different powers. They could change people's clothes, physical traits, even their magical powers. Yeah, but look here. It says that they can only be created by someone who has psychic ability, someone that is able to control the thoughts of other living beings. Bianca, my rival. I knew she was behind this. Never trust a siren. Wednesday, wait! Don't get too worked up or you'll whoop out! Uh-oh. Ajax, no! He's a gargoyle, Wednesday! A gargoyle! Instead of turning others to stone, now he is one! It happened just like in my vision! Then we need to go find Bianca now and stop this. You made it over here in a hurry. I guess torturing your classmates really knocks the wind out of you. What are you talking about, Wiz? Well, you two are both- Body swapped, we know. Don't act surprised. We know it was you who created those crystal balls. I have no idea what you're talking about. The magic used to make us switch places had to be made by someone who can control living beings. Sound familiar? I didn't do anything. As irritating as you personally can get, I would never hurt Enid. There must be something I can do to prove my innocence. I suppose we could duel for it. Child by combat? Seriously? Doesn't that seem a little barbaric? That's what a coward would say. A guilty one at that. 
All right, fine, let's do this. I win, which means you're guilty. Come on, Wednesday, we should probably tell the new principal. This doesn't prove anything. What the? All the visions are coming true. Instead of being a beautiful, intelligent siren, now she's a disgusting, stupid zombie. I suppose that eliminates her as a suspect. Right. Uh, Wednesday? I really don't want to end up as zombie chow. Then come on. I think I know somebody that can give us information. Where are we going? To Xavier's art studio in the woods. He knows something about this whole thing. I'm sure of it. Are you okay? Wednesday, stop! You're starting to wolf out and you're not ready for it! You've never had any lycanthropy classes to learn to control it! Quick, we gotta get inside and out of the moonlight. Xavier, are you in here? Enid, is that you? I'm back here. Where? We don't see you. Show yourself. Man, he's getting good at self-portraits. It's not a self-portrait, it's me. Oh my God, a talking painting. <gasps> this is definitely going on my blog. I suspected this might happen. We're too late. The attacker already got to him. Yeah, it was the same crystal ball I've been seeing in my dreams for weeks. You know, you really should start telling people about those. They usually seem pretty relevant to whatever giant mystery is happening around the school. Well, the last time I showed Wednesday my painting, she accused me of being a hide monster. Ugh, you accuse someone of murder one time and they never get over it. Do you have any idea who's behind all of this? Not really. Eugene! What? I just saw it in my vision! Come on! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh. Wow, uh, what is it? Opposite day? What's with the color swap? Don't play dumb, Eugene. I had a vision and saw that you were behind all of this. I must admit, it was an excellent plan. You were sick of being the outcast of the outcasts, so you decided to knock down all the cool kids to your level. What threw me off was the book. It's said that the crystal balls could only be created by someone who can control living beings. You were counting on that. You hoped I would blame Bianca or one of the other sirens. But what I was forgetting is that you are also a psychic. One capable of controlling these annoying bees you love so much. Living beings. And you knew that if you attacked me and Enid, your only friends here, that no one would suspect you. Your plan was absolutely diabolical. I'm almost proud. Okay. You're right, I admit it. But but can you blame me? I was so sick of being the Luther. But n no harm, no foul, right? Inside the workshop, I have another crystal ball that can change everyone back to normal. Wait, what's happening? Your spell made her into a werewolf, remember? And now she's gonna rip us limb from limb! Not if I can help it. Bees, attack! Well, that didn't work. No, my fuzzy flying babies! Wednesday! Is she all right? Just go get that crystal ball, you idiot! <laughs>